If you're injured, I have a few emergency potions ready. Excellent. According to my observations, the manifestation of the external elemental flow is as expected. Elemental reactions are normal. There is nothing out of the ordinary. Now that we know that the external flow is manifesting normally, let's test the internal flow. Internal flow? How do you test that? It's very simple. I can use alchemy to create a potion that will extract elemental power. If the elemental power is stored or accumulated physically within your body, this potion may elicit an elemental reaction. Sounds kind of terrifying. Don't worry. In the normal course of events, you'd feel some temporary queasiness. No bodily injury. And in the abnormal course of events? If anything unexpected occurs, I've made the necessary preparations. Try not to worry. Well, it's not that there aren't any risks involved. But if there is anything blocking your elemental flow, we'll be able to locate it with this test. Just a warning. If an internal elemental reaction occurs for any other reason, that's a bad sign. Yes, that's an excellent way to think about it. Before we get started, the potion we'll use for the test is missing a catalyst. We'll need to find it. It's a type of ore known as star silver, but unfortunately not all of it is suitable. I'll take you to my campsite. We can gather some star silver ore on the way. I'll point out any likely contenders. All going to plan, we should be able to begin concocting the potion when we get to the campsite. Paimon's still got a few safety concerns, but it seems like there's a silver lining. Let's keep our eyes open. This is my campsite. I've added the materials we collected to the concoction. While we are waiting, have a look over here. My assistant Timaeus here is helping me with my research. I'm guessing you may have met in Mondstadt already. Hello! I've just gotten hold of the data from your experiment. The report is already up on the board there. Whoa! Look at all the data! You got all these results from one slime battle? <laughs> I wouldn't call them results. Inferences and a few daring guesses, perhaps. I think the most rational direction would be to expound on the phylogenetic relationship between this traveler and the slimes. Hmm, consider. You don't have a vision, but you can manipulate elemental energy. The slimes don't have visions either, yet they too are able to manipulate the elements. Following this line of thought, I'm sure we'll be able to establish a basis in fact. Not bad for a point of entry. But strictly speaking, slimes are elemental life forms. In other words, beings consisting entirely of the elements. A cryoregis vine, or even a whopper flower might be a better analogy. But tracing back the phylogenetic relationships between plants and animals, you might have to trace back to the world's origins. In that sense, things might get difficult, don't you think? Uh, yes sir. That sounds correct. After all, we've got our primary data already. This traveler is a visitor from another world. If it turned out that he did have a phylogenetic relationship with this world... Huh. Now that really would be something, wouldn't it? Ah, it would. <laughs> Apologies. I was so excited to get the data. I'll slow down a bit next time. Speaking of data, to complete our research, we'll need some more. I'll be conducting analysis here for the time being. If you're keen for an update, just come and find me. Great. I'll leave you to it. Huh. Looks like the potion's ready. I'll try a little first. If all goes well, I'll hand it over to you. Mm-hmm. In line with my expectations. Ready to drink. Remember to keep calm at all times and breathe deeply if you feel unwell. I've just tried some. It's in line with my expectations. 
Remember to keep calm at all times, and breathe deeply if you feel unwell. I'll be noting down all observable results and data points. This was the result I was expecting, and a very positive one at that. This potion channels elemental power into the body. Under normal circumstances, a repelling reaction is to be expected. But if the internal elemental flow is unimpeded, you'll only experience momentary discomfort. Once the flow is complete, there won't be any other effects. So you knew you'd be sick and still drink some? It was my own concoction, of course. Only natural for me to be the guinea pig. Perhaps it's just scholarly self-assurance. And it certainly speeds things up. In conclusion, I'd say we have our conclusion. As far as elemental energy is concerned, you're no different from anyone else in this world. Nothing peculiar. Aw, Paimon wanted something cooler to happen. Then again. Better an ordinary result than a peculiar result. Peculiar results have a tendency to be of the... undesirable variety. The good thing about ordinary is that everything is an object of reference, and everyone understands you. People are the same, they can understand, empathize, encourage, and support one another. When you're sick, a doctor can diagnose you because they are you. When something goes wrong, you can ask people who've made the same mistake for their experience, because you are them. But a peculiar person. They don't have much recourse for the things we take for granted. The essence of their life is fundamentally different. For example, a human can't understand the life of a pyroregisfine, or an eye of the storm. Have I explained it clearly enough? To sum up, this has been a positive outcome. Going forward, you can use your elemental power without fear. Timaeus, the results of the new experiment are out. If you could see to collating them. Just a moment, sir. I'll handle it. Oh, you gave me a lot to consider. Really stretched my limits. I'm thinking a lot clearer now. Oh, having you down as an animal wasn't very precise of me. But starting with the premise of an elemental life form? Now that was... Not bad. I think it's an interesting line of inquiry. Whatever the truth of the matter, I'd like your research at the fore as opposed to my judgment. Hm. You can count on me, sir. I'll extract a result satisfactory to all. Is he trying to join the knights? He's starting to sound like a suck-up. Uh, what Paimon meant to say was, that's the spirit. Mr. Albedo, say something. Hmm... Before we can proceed with our research, I need to... prepare something. Wait one moment. If you're interested, why not have a look around? It may help to pass the time. I'm back. Did you see anything interesting? Not to worry. They're all for alchemical purposes. You'd be hard-pressed to find an everyday use for them. Well, on with the research. There may be significant differences between different worlds. Take Tevat, for example. Here, those with visions can manipulate the elements. But worlds may well exist where only one person is able to do so. Or even everyone. So, leaving elements to one side. Do you possess any... unique abilities? Ones that don't exist in this world? I think answering this question calls for the same methodology as last time. In other words, time for the next experiment.
No, no. You shan't be required to exert quite so much effort this time around. Now, see this pillar here? Use your willpower to try and break it. You think Paimon knows how to do that stuff? That was your best effort? Hmm. Well, can't be helped, I suppose. Ah, have you tried using your elemental power with food? I don't mean for cooking, as such. Uh, rather, channeling your power into the ingredients themselves. I'm curious to see how the taste and texture respond. It may even help with proliferation. <laughs> I suppose I have a curiosity for things that others find surprising. Anyway, why don't you cook us up a sunshine sprat? I've just finished preparing the recipe. Not only is this recipe a staple for me, it's also worth experimenting with and highly nutritious. Hmm. Paimon bits you're just hungry. It does sound yummy, though. Okay, Paimon approves! Mm -hmm. Good buddies are always on the same page. I'll leave you to it, then. Looking forward to the results. If there's anything left over, maybe Timaeus can finish the last morsels. Problem. How are we gonna channel elemental power into the food? Maybe try the willpower thing again. Where does he get these ideas from anyway? Ah, let's just do it the old-fashioned way. That was fast. Looking forward to tasting, I mean, testing the results. Mmm. An average outcome experimentally, but you've really brought out the flavor. You seem well-versed in the science of gastronomy. As far as the proliferation hypothesis is concerned, we've come up short. Seems like food presents the same headaches in your world as it does ours. Unless... Could it be that the natural laws of this world are limiting your unique abilities? It's a little more complicated than adding herbs and spices, you know. Not to worry. At least we put some food to good use. No need to feel disheartened. And here's your portion. Enjoy. I can box it up if you like. Woohoo! Thanks! Glad you were paying attention. I can tell that you're good friends. Paimon was keeping an eye on you and your safety during the whole experiment. Not that Paimon would have been able to do much if things had gone wrong, but anyway. Hey! You were being nice a second ago! But you do have tasty recipes, so Paimon forgives you. And you're right, we are good friends. You have good friends too, right? Good students? Uh, yes. I'm fortunate too, I suppose. Anyway, moving on to the next experiment. There are all manner of alchemical items here. Keeping them in their proper place is a challenge at the best of times. A while ago, I had the misfortune of misplacing a batch. I managed to retrieve the majority, but two vials have been evading me. Animal Crystal Fly Elemental Extract and Electrohypostasis Powder. Paimon's barely finished eating and you want us to go gathering again? Don't worry if you can't locate them. I was planning to replace them anyway. Though, finding them would save me the hassle. If you had, say, a superpower, like night vision or vibratory sensing, a lost property would be a thing of the past. I must have dropped them somewhere in the area where you were looking just now. So, guess we'd better take a look. Goodness, you managed to find them. Incredible. A thousand thanks. I'm wondering... This elemental sight. This is what allowed you to locate the items and find me here on the mountains, correct? Yep. Guess it does sort of count as a superpower, huh? Unfortunately, though elemental sight is seldom seen, it is not unheard of in Tevat. Only a never before seen otherworldly power would be of benefit to my research. You mean 
We failed again? Don't be disheartened. This falls entirely within my expectations. Besides, getting these items back, I'd call this a very worthwhile experiment. I have to commend your deduction that the items would contain elemental traces. Right then. Up until now, our research has focused on your otherworldly identity. Our research on your identity as one of us is just beginning. In essence, the differences between humans are reflected in our intellectual and physical capabilities. Let's start with physical. Looking out from where we're standing, can you see what Sucrose is doing? And if you jumped from here and landed on that cliff, the one over there, could you see her then? So what about if you planted a single blow on the mountain face here, and it burst into a million fragments? Then could you see her? Hmm... Then I shouldn't get too excited. Still, we'll gain a more thorough understanding with an experiment. I know of a location that will be perfect for a physical test. Please, follow me.